Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday morning. Back over here looking at a 7GB Alice Chalmers loader. This thing was originally sold by a company called EF Craven out of Greensboro, North Carolina, back in the 70s. They were the Alice Chalmers dealer. We've got a customer in New York City that needs an engine, and we are going to try to crank it up, make sure it runs good, send him a video of it, if he wants it, we'll pull the engine out and sell it to him. Get it shipped up there next week. So this thing's been sitting back here for, what, about how many years? Uh, two, I think. Probably a good two years. We were trying to operate it back here, doing some cleaning up, and had some problems in the steering clutches back here in the back. So ended up just going ahead and parting it out. And we've sold some parts off of it, the arms, the bucket and stuff. The radiator, there is no, I think the radiator got scrapped, didn't it? Yep. yep. Sawed that, that mug out with a sawzall. When copper got up to about $4, uh, $6 a pound, excuse me. But anyway, we have done nothing to it in two years. Not even turned it over. Did have good stack on it, so no water down in the engine. This is a tag that the EF Craven Company would put on everything they sold. It was a brass tag. They were up there on Swing Road in Greensboro. They also had a branch here, Asheville, Greenville, and Charlotte, North Carolina. They had a motto, the Road Machinery Men. Yeah, it was a real good outfit to deal with. My dad bought a 7GB loader just like this, brand new back in the early 70s. It was one of the only new pieces of equipment that he ever had in his construction company. And it was also, the, this is the first uh, model, a piece of equipment, the loader, that D.H. Griffin uh, ever bought or, or bought when he was starting out. I think he worked for two years with sledgehammers and crowbars tearing houses down. And then eventually when he was able to purchase a piece of heavy equipment, the 7GB uh, Alice Chalmers loader was the first piece of heavy equipment that he ever purchased for his company. So we have checked the fluid. Well, we didn't have to check the water because like I say, no radiator in there. We're not going to run it long enough to hurt it. Check the oil in it. All that's good. Got us a couple batteries and stuck up in here. I'm gonna get up in here and push the button and see what happens. It's got about an inch of fuel in the fuel tank, which ain't much, but might not take much. Let's find out. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed here. 7 GB, come on. setting two years <laughs> So you can say what you want to about these old tractors, but probably ain't gonna be too many of them new ones with all them computers and def and electronics and all that on gonna set for two years and 
throw two batteries in it, do nothing but hit the button. Yeah. No. I feel sorry for them guys. Uh, they're going to go out there on a rainy day and mm, they're going to come through for them. These old tractors, dependable. And, uh, you know, that's the best thing about it. Thing can set and set and set. You know, a lot of the older equipment, say it's on farms and small construction yards and this, that, and the other. They don't need it all the time. They might go out there and crank the thing up, run it a day, a year. But when they go out, put the batteries in it, fire it up, it'll go. And you don't have to get it out and work on it, work on it, work on it. It, it will go. Put it back over our park it, especially if it's under a shed. That is a big plus. This, most of it, you know, sets outside. But you can get on it, hit the button, go do what you got to do, and not have to worry about it. Them other guys making them payments. Making them payments, ain't they, Mike? Yep. We're doing away with all our payments. <laughs> Simplifying. Y'all have a good day.